Bon Giorno. So, I have been gifted these games as a, uh, I guess as a potential stream thing or like a thing to do for a stream. So, um, a Wolf in Autumn and Iron Lung. I've heard of Iron Lung, but I've not heard of A Wolf in Autumn. But this says up here, this game is intended to be completed in a single sitting around one hour, and it doesn't have a save system. So I think what I'm going to do is if I complete this and Iron Lung within, I don't know, maybe like a couple or so hours, like, you know, I'm not... I. I would say I usually stream for a, at least a few hours, like, you know, four, I'm going to say four to seven hours, maybe, average. So, anyway, I complete them, and then I'll move on to, like, Fallout 3 or something, maybe. But, uh, yeah. Use WASD to move, shift to run. Use left mouse button to interact. Use right mouse button to drop held items. Use escape to toggle the in-game menu. Okay. Well then, I guess I'll just begin the game then. <laughs> See what happens. We left in the evening before, and as the sun followed another sleepless night, her fury remained, fury and pride. I'm still proud, she thought, even now, if only because a lack of pride would admit the wasted years and make them real and give them power. I have tasted the poison and felt the need that surpassed all other needs, and I sit here refusing to waste away while others like me sit in rotting houses on rotting couches staring blankly at blank walls, thinking and seeing nothing. And yet men's eyes pass me on the street and judge me from a glance and I am still proud because I lived more life than they ever will know and lived it freely as a woman and seen the worst of its ruin and I am still proud even now and even now and proud I will remain until I am nothing at all I have seen the ruin and have pleased myself with all and any and I have no zealotry zealotry? left our ambition, our hope in a changed world, but this is how I've lived, and I am proud of it, because pride is the mark of a woman, and when life has burned to ashes, and the pride will still remain, and when truth and faith and hope and certainty have burnt too, it will remain... Wait, what? And it will remain, and when I am nothing at all, and the needles and their poison have finally sucked me dry and my daughter spits my name contemptuously. It will not matter because I have lived more life than they will ever know and I have lived as a woman and seen its ruin and even when the pride cannot hide the wasted years and I know it was all for nothing and scream silently that it was all for nothing in despair that all the... <laughs> Fucking in the pleasures and the pride were nothing, nothing at all. Okay. Even then. When the needles in their poison... <laughs> uh, I don't know, this... Okay, initially it made me think of an amnesia. Like the, uh... The way that... The, uh... The text was shown, but... When the needles in their poison that have sucked me dry and my daughter spits my name contemptuous, contemptuously and the pride cannot hide the wasted years and the pleasured memories cannot drown out the scream and then some, something somewhere will know that I live freely as a woman and even in death I will be proud and even when the world burns to ashes they will know it still. Okay. It makes me think of like a, a tongue twister with the way that it was done. Um, a wakey wakey, eggs and bakey. There's a pot on the table, and there's tools on the ground. Uh, I have no clue what's going on. Oh. Look at the 
I can move. I can look at skizzers and candle. Yo, oh. ice pick. These always scare me. They're so pointy. Pointy, pointy, point. Hey, <laughs> pointy, pointy, point. P U. What's that horrible smell? Do 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 do. Ah, uh, I don't know. Just came to my mind. Patrick's song from Spinglebab. You stick the ice pick in the lock and twist it around. Amazingly, you hear it click open. Awesome. There's no use for that here. Okay. How? Oh, I just put it down. I want it though. Keeping it. Is that a phone? What is that? Okay. I can put the volume even louder. Oh, sick. That means I can turn down my volume in Windows. I didn't hear what was going on with the, like, audio before, so... I have no clue if there was something I missed with the story or whatever. Put down the ice pick for now and... A button? Sweetie, it's Mom. Listen to me. This is very important. You need to stay put. Don't leave the fenced-in area. Don't go into the basement. Don't mess with that machine outside. Just don't go anywhere, all right? Stay in the shed and wait for me. There are some dangerous animals loose, and I don't want you to get hurt. Everything is going to be fine. Just do as I say. Ice pick. There's no use for that view. What is this? Makes me think of like a... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Ooh, heck yeah. I don't know what this does. Oh, heck yeah. Noises. Oh. Wait, what? Say anything on it? So this is releasing water? Huh? What is this? Tink. Noises. Machine for opening the door? Wait, what? Do the pipes make it explode or something? Okay. Uh. How do I make it? Oh, it's got a button up here. Are you some sort of machine made of rock? I'd really like to figure out how you work. Uh. Okay. Uh, is there button somewhere else? I thought that was a button right there. Fine. Where did I put the ice pick? Stick this in it. Here. No use for that. Here, okay. There's a candle over here. Put the ice pick there. making water noises. Or at least I would think. Brass panel placed with odd square screws. So wait, can I use... Is the ice pick like... Uh, I don't know if I can use that on those. 
too pointy to turn the screws. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll go look. Was it in the shed? A pair of metal scissors. Without these. And I, like, use it like a... Can't get enough leverage to turn the screws. Oh, well. Put it over here by the ice pick. I gotta find... Gotta find... Something is holding the door closed. Why... <laughs> do I use the scissors on the chain? Are they- are they sharp enough? Chain seems to be doing a better job of cutting into the scissors than the scissors of doing- do of cutting through the chain, okay. So the scissors... The scissors do not cut the chain. What's over here? Pair of wire cutters. What are these? Oh, lighter. Wait a second, can I pick this up and- My eyes. No more, please. Yeah, I'm not gonna put this... Was that a flashlight? Put that there. Hey, there we go. Now I can pick up an... Am I not able to pick up another thing? Is there a way to, like, switch? I don't think so. Okay. Wire cutters. You try cutting the heads off the screws with the wire cutters, but can't. Oh, okay. Not the wire cutters. So what, uh, like I... What are these? More? <laughs> More wire cutters? I need to dual wield the wire cutters. It's no use for that here now. Yep. I'll put... I'm just like collecting things. Putting them over here. I mean, I don't know where else to put them. I just want to have my my things so I don't lose them. Okay. Put the lighter over there. The water's really pretty. I love water. It reminds me of when we went to the ocean with Grandma and Grandpa. Yeah. Knife. Old kitchen knife. Boom. It's too bendy. I need a screwdriver or something. Too bendy. Well, put it over on the pile of stuff again. A piece of glass. You look really sharp. Um. I and I am. Am I stepping on something? You often like to imagine the mysterious sources pipes like these. Evidence some long gone ancient house. In this case, judging by the ruined walls outside the fence, maybe there was. Okay. Um. What about this? Is this another one? Another one. It's too pointy to turn the screws. Well, add it to the, <laughs> the pile of stuff. I wonder what's in here. Seems to be locked. Oh, well, I'll use an ice pick. If it's thin enough to go through. Nope, not wire cutters. There we go, ice pick. Knife? Oh. There, ice pick. Now I'll go pick the lock if it... You stick the ice pick in the lock, twist around. Amazingly, here, click open. Awesome. I'm just unlocking it. There. Put it down. Go over again. Let me see. Oh. Another knife. Scissors. What is that? The battery is rough to the touch with old corrosion. Battery? There's no use for that here. Okay. I don't think this is gonna work. Why not? Just stick it on the brass. It'll give it enough power. Um... Old kitchen knife. Just keep... <laughs> stacking my pile of stuff. 
skizzers. Okay, that doesn't... Looks like tin. More broken glass. I'm not able to jump. I'm allowed to wander in the fenced area. You kick it experimentally, but it seems to be lodged in the ground. Oh? Maybe I can scrape it up with the knife. Let me see where the knife is. Ice pick. No. I mean, maybe I can use both. Like, maybe they both work. There's no use for that here now. Why not? It's not... Is that not the one that I was... Okay. Well. I'll try... No. No. There. Ice pick. Just break it with the ice pick. No use for that here now. Uh, is there a crowbar somewhere? That is a question. Anything over here in this corner? I guess I'll use the flashlight, because I don't really know what to be using otherwise, so while I look. Uh, no jump, so. Um. Oh. Saul. But what for? I don't know. Put this down and get the saw. The antique store in town has one like you. I keep asking mom for money. I can't. Oh, I can't have it. Not allowed to have it. That's unfortunate. Um. I mean, what would I use it for? Oh, well, that. Back here. Anything? Oh. Graphics. Okay. Very sick. Um, where? Is there anything in here still? There's a candle and there's this. Looks like my toolbox. I can't pick up the toolbox. I was thinking maybe I could put my stuff in it and just carry it with me so I had everything, but I guess not. Because I don't think there's an inventory or anything. Like, I just kind of can pick one thing up at a time, but not actually hold anything in, in storage. Um... Unless there's just, like, something I missed. Um... Doesn't look like anything, uh, else that I can think of. Um... Anything around this that I can pick up? Thought that was something next to it, maybe. Uh, there's the rocks. There's this tree. More rocks. This rock. Your pretty blue rock, my favorite color. Okay. Uh. Trying to make music with the with the storage thing. Um, 
I'm not able to pick up this, but why not? This pipe looks really weird. Which one? Uh, which... yeah, which one? Is it just this? Uh, it looks like an inlet pipe. Kind of. Um... Uh... Uh, well, I don't know what to- now I don't know what to do. Oh. I need something to cut the string. Oh. I didn't even see that key. Scissors. My question is, where does the key go to? No use for that here. Oh. said something about the scissors being fairly dull, but I missed it because I was trying to pick up the key, but... Again, I don't think there's an inventory system, so I'm not able to pick it up with that. I can have it, but... Use it for, you know... What, though? That is the question. Where does this go to? I don't remember seeing a door or anything anywhere else, so... Uh... Just run along the fence and see if there's something else. Maybe it's like... If I didn't want to use the ice pick... Or something. Um... Um... I don't know if this key is used for anything. And drop that. Go looking. Because it doesn't look like there's any more doors along the fences. Something out there. Yeah, I can, I can look, but... Yeah, I don't know what it would be used for. Can I use it on this? The key's too thick to fit into the screws. Uh... There's no use for that here now. Um... Yeah, I don't... I don't know what to do with the key yet. There's the lighter, but I don't know what you would use that for, either. <sighs> square screws. What would I use to remove the square screws? Did I try... Yeah, I did try the wire cutters. But... It wasn't attempted to turn them, it was attempted to cut the tops off. I would just try to turn it, but maybe it doesn't fit on the... Screw? I forget what it said. There we go again. You try cutting the heads off the screws. Um... Anything... here to... see? Let's take a look. I mean, I don't... Okay, I don't know how this game looks, but like, I feel like it might look darker on stream than it does as I'm playing it. Um... Where... Where do I go? Oh. 
maybe the key was used for this as well if I didn't use the ice pick to like open it. Cause like I, again I didn't even see the key to begin with, I saw the ice pick first in the like toolbox or whatever. There's this. Makes that noise, but it doesn't say anything. Uh... Well, it's been half an hour, and it says this is an hour experience. I think. Uh... Just gotta, like, break the game or something somehow. Cause, like... I have no clue. the glass when I walk over it. Is <laughs> my question is, is the experience just this? Cause like I'm not able to pick this up. Nor would I really know what it'd be used for, to be honest. Even if I could. I mean, I could cut down the tree. Uh, but... Uh, there's this button to press, but it just kind of did, like, a, a recording of, I guess, Mom. That says, don't leave the fenced in area, just stay where you are, go, you know, in the shed, stay in the shed rather, uh, but... Did I try the wire cutters? I don't think I tried the wire cutters on that. The chain is rusty enough that shuddering with exertion you're able to snip apart one of the links with the wire cutters. Okay. Like a phone call. Sweetie, you have to stop messing with things. I know you love to explore and play with machines, but this is for your own good. You won't be safe if you don't mind me and stay put. <laughs> How do you know I'm doing any of this? You have like something is holding the door closed. Oh. Piece of rope is keeping the door from opening. Okay, scissors time. Or wait, I can just use the wire cutters, right? Cutters are sharp, but they just squeeze the rope. You need something you can saw with. Oh, a knife? That's actually really fun. <laughs> okay. Put down the knife. I'm going to the shed. What? What was that noise? Oh, okay. I think they're... Are they all the same? I think they're all the same. Screwdriver. Oh no. Out. Looks like it. <laughs> You're disobeying your mother, Autumn. Disobedient girls get punished, and the trees have many eyes. They see everything. They judge everything. And the wolves know too. And I know. Don't touch that machine. Stop getting into things. Don't try my patience. It's pre-recorded or something, but then, like, how is everything attached? Okay, screwdriver. Have it. You can move the screws and lift the panel away. Well... Put that over there, and... Now it do water. Some sick noises. I 
can I just get... I don't know how to do this. Oh. I'm so scared right now. I'm so scared right now. I'm so scared right now. Uh... I wish I had clothes on. It's really cold down here. I don't have clothes on? Well, I guess I... Oh, now I got a flashlight down here. It's probably... There's probably a light switch or something around. What if I just don't answer? It's another one of these down here. What part of don't go into the basement don't you understand? Hold I've it. tried being nice, and apparently you're too stupid for nice. So get back in your little shed and wait there, quietly, until I decide what to do with you. No. Or do you want to die? No. I want to leave. Metal play with a raised part in the middle. Can I press it? No. I think it's a lock. Okay. Uh, can I have the radia? Heck yeah. And some spooky tunes to to wander the halls. It's an axe. Can't lift it with only one hand. Well, what? Do I have- I only have one hand? What happened to my other one? I get, like, sawed off or something? It's nailed to the door, and it's oh, blocking it from opening. Can I bring other stuff in here with me? Looks like the ones in mom's room. Needles? Syringe? Whoa, why did I do- <laughs> Okay, it just uses it. That's pretty sick. I think it's a fuse. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh come on now. Oh, light switch. Oh no. Did I lose that? No. Hey! Now I can not. I can go without that. I'll go find if there's another light switch so I'm not like carrying a flashlight around the entire time. Um. Again, sick tunes. Kind of, um... Just point it there, I guess. I don't really know where else I'd put it. No use for that here. There's nowhere to put it. Well... Put that in front of there. Saw blades are covered in dust. They're, uh, they've obviously sat for a long time. I kind of like running my fingers over the points. Why? <laughs> Is that how your like other arm got <laughs> chopped off? Like, please. And take apart a lot with a screwdriver. Oh, found another place to put things again. Put them there, so I have them. Just carry everything from right here to over there. Transfer. I only have one hand? This smells like oil too. Okay. Battery. See these batteries, but for what? Does the flashlight die? And am I able to really refill it? One arm. Hey, 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 hey. Are these open? 
old and rusty, icky. Hey now. Oh cool, a hammer. Oh. There. I think that landed. A approximate, in the approximate location. Oh good. No, 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 give me. Cool. The needle breaks off in your arm. It was sick. Very nice. Uh. Oh, good. Another one. I don't know if I'm. if those are for something, but. Lighter. Oh. Hey. Those aren't candles. Spikes. Oh, I lit that one. Light the chair on fire. Oh, hey. A saw. Here's my flashlight. Put that there. So I can... Oh, although it's lying on the floor, somehow the saw blade cuts lengthwise into your arm like blubber, creating a thick flap of skin. It doesn't hurt or bleed. What? How? How? <laughs> How? It takes some time, but eventually you're able to saw through the board. Okay. Uh... Right there. Okay, where's my flashlight? I'm... I'm lost. I have no clue what's happening with the story. Oh. I'll go get the lighter. Okay. Actually, I'll... Grab this. So I can put it on the... On there. I'm not able to... Okay, I'm going to pick up stuff. Hammer? No, no, I want the lighter. Where did I put the lighter? There. What? Chair. Candles there, though? Carefully light the candle. Oh, there's a note. I'll go answer the call. Do I have to pry off your kneecaps, you little shit? Do I have to nail your fucking arms to the floor? I will twist your legs off and break every bone in your ugly little body if I have to. I am your mother. You will obey me. Get back in your fucking cage! My cage? Oh no. I continue. Okay. Bucket. It seems to be locked. Um. A heavy wrench. Hey, no, you can't do anything at all with your nine year old brain and your one nine year old hand. Do you think. I accidentally hung that key where you could reach it. Okay. Can I use the screwdriver to pick the lock? Stick it in the lock. You insert the screwdriver in the lock and twist it as hard as you can. You hear it snap. Guess the inside is rusty too. Cool. Strange glass object. Stick it on the, the thing. The object fits perfectly. 
Okay. Now what? Seems to indicate if water is flowing through the pipe or not, there's probably some way to control the water flow outside. You already turned the valve on. Oh, can go out here then? Again? For what? Like that. Oh, I'll go back in. It's too heavy for me to lift. I wish I had two working hands. Forty one minutes and thirty two seconds so far. Um, so I didn't do it. Oh, the stuff down here reset. Oh, I think the stuff down here reset. Except for that, that did not reset. Oh. Well, then how... Out I go again. Uh. Oh, wait a second. Okay, now is it? Okay. Now I think it's if those mean what they do how I think they do because like the point going towards like the short end goes towards where you put the water question mark oh yep okay I think it's bringing water from outside down to the machine over there. Over there. <laughs> over there, but where is over there? Oh, hey. I didn't see that. Are these still lit in here? No. But why? Oh good, I can pick these up again. Put that down. They're too small. Oh, okay. Maybe a few skills here or something. Pip 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 pip. Cool. Ooh, sick. I don't know if I want to put the other fuse in, it's making some sick beats. Beep. It's already a fuse. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is there another one somewhere else then? I gotta put this back on. I said there was two, I thought. That just has that. Um. Ooh. Um. There's the lighter again. 
here. Yeah. There. Go light these ones in here. Just spam it so I can see where I'm going. There's these, but what for? see another fuse or anything. I don't know why. I can turn those on, but I don't know what for. Just turn on all the valves. Why not? Can't fill it with the the liquid. Is it a specific one for some reason or something? No. Ooh. Almost. I'm trying to get it to sit upward. Not quite. I don't I don't think it feels like this. Um okay. Well just leave it there. Why not? There isn't another one of those out here. That, but... I thought it said there was two here, though. Already a fuse inserted. But, oh. Oh, that's candle up there. My eyes. Um. It's just the one song. <laughs> Not able to light the liquid. What else would I use the all for? Like, is there something to do with that? Switch. 
Doesn't look like there's another one of those boxes anywhere else. At least that I'm not seeing. I mean... like a valve but without the wheel thing. <laughs> okay, so I don't have a wheel for that. Okay. Oh. Sick loading screwdriver. I pull this off of this. You already turned on the valve. Well, it's turned on, but can I, like, pry it off? Hammer. Oh. You look just like our kitchen chairs. Okay. Um. Please? Oh, wait. In here. Yeah. A heavy wrench. Here we go. Now I can turn this right. Using your full body weight, you're able to open the valve with the wrench. Hey! Oh no, there it is! <laughs> what the heck? Uh... Am I dead? <laughs> what was that? I can light candles with this. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. It was real scary. Now I'm really scared. Can I sit down? No. On off. Okay. Well, I can activate and deactivate. I guess. Kind of. Um. Oh. with electric motors while I slave my life away. Do you think I wanted you? My mother was sitting on a porch with a haste green paint, talking to the woman with the short Just hair, smoke drifting out. upward, not knowing you were listening. I kept so the coat hanger in the bathroom for months just to think about special, it. What? You're spoiled. Because I'm wasting my mother life giving you the things I heard the I screams and staggering out to the porch with a hasty green paint, arms Punctured holes finding you curled up and dripping blood. You look weird, Autumn. Okay. Picking this up.
And you sobbing, spilling blood onto the floor of the dog, my hand. Oh. What the heck? What's happening? <laughs> you look weird, Autumn. Nice. Very good. Uh. There. You told your mother the dog left those chipmunk parts in your room. It didn't. The dog didn't get those cuts from a fight. The dog didn't bite you unprovoked. Oh, okay. Edge clippers. Machines can be built and bodies can be taken apart. Teeth can be pulled out with pliers, screwdrivers twisted around soft holes and crevices. Ice picks slipped into so eye sockets. Massive tangled bowels hidden in stomachs and wet pieces ready to be pulled and squished. Uh, okay. You'll wake up and I'll still be there. This will all still be there. Do you know what lives deep inside Autumn? Love and period. A forest and a basement. Locked away and unconditional. And you can't let them both out. The world is a growling, grinding machine. And you can't escape its teeth without teeth to match. It devours little girls like you. Eats you up from the inside. Someday you'll know the meaning of ruin and wasted years. You'll have children of your own, and you'll understand. You can't live life without the hell of wolves. Okay. Still, I cannot recover the wasted years are unknown. The coming of the com contemptuous bits and the final poison are forced my mouth to know what's in my heart or stop all those words from spilling out and instead say that I am your mother and you are my daughter and I love you and I know this somewhere deep inside but I cannot feel it past the screams and wasted years and the need that surpasses all other needs and the ruin and yes even the pride and I can't make the words stop spilling out or stop the pain in your face or force my mind to tell my heart what I know deep inside my mouth to speak for my heart and mind that you are my daughter and I love you and I am your mother and somehow together we can leave behind the waste and the ruin and the screams and the poison and the pride okay but then a lack of pride would admit the wasted years and make them real and give them power and even now I am a woman and something somewhere will know me even after the world burns to ashes and the needles and their poison finally suck me dry and even after my daughter spits my name contemptuously because what I know deep inside does not matter when I know other things on the surface and life is a grinding machine and a girl and a woman cannot escape its teeth through tenderness and even after I am nothing at all my daughter will contemptuously spit my name and show that her skin is the tough skin of an animal and she will face the ruin and the pleasure and the fucking and eventually the and eventually the wasted years and the silent scream and the thing deep inside and hidden from her heart and mouth and through the words that spill out and the thing too deep to know she will be proud a proud woman like me and someday we will shake our fists together at them and the memory of their arrogant eyes and be proud together too and something somewhere will know us and our ruin. As I sit here watching the uncounted empty needles and feeling the need that surpasses all other needs and remembering the pleasures and drowning out the scream that it was all for nothing and feeding the pride that will remain when the earth has burned to ashes. Autumn's alarm clock went off the, in the next room, and the mother began to dry her tears. Autumn's eyes flew open, lying in her sleeping bag, clutching her stuffed dolphin, surrounded by the motors and parts she loved to tinker with, letting the alarm continue to sound from its place in the opposite corner, staring at the ceiling. Adjusting her thoughts and feeling the misty emotions begin to evaporate with the dream that brought them. Awake now. 
Her mother walked into the room and leaned on the door frame, looking. Are you awake? Her voice was weaker and softer than normal. Autumn was looking, too. After a moment, she said, I'm awake. I love you, Mom. Autumn didn't know why she said it. Her mother's mouth tightened and she blinked a few times and then she nodded. I... She glanced away and nodded a few more times. She looked back at Autumn and Autumn looked at her. And they looked at each other for some time. A Wolf and Autumn, A Troubling Girl's Nightmare. Game by David Shemansky. Voice acting by Julie Hoverson. Created in Unity 5 Free. Dedicated to Rachel Shemansky. Sally Dio Gloria. Oh. Okay. Look at the wigs, sweetie. Are they pretty? at the end of the game like oh I hit escape and it closed so I think that's it uh, I don't know really what to say about that to be honest I guess it was an interesting experience nonetheless but uh Okay. And I played it for an hour and five minutes, so... Okay. Um... I don't know if there's any, like, different endings or anything like that, but... Yeah, uh, regardless, I guess on to Iron Lung. <laughs> I mean, I don't know anything about Iron Lung except for that, uh, I think Germa played it. That's pretty much all I know. And, uh, there were some videos on it. Uh, if it will come up as a category to stream, question mark? I guess I'll just wait for it to pop up. I don't know. It just, if I go off of... Oh, there it goes. Iron Lung. Simulation, adventure game, indie game, horror. That's what the tags are. Okay. Well, on to, on to Iron Lung, I guess, then. But, yeah, I don't really know what this game is, either. So, time to start it and see, I guess. A simulation adventure game into game horror. As a. Uh, as a. Uh, shown by OBS. Or, I guess, Twitch. Wait, what? Is it still trying to. Yeah, it is still trying to capture the other game. That's why it's like doing that. What? Is the other game still like. Considered open or something? Um... Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's still trying to capture it, but it doesn't exist? Question mark? Okay, I'm gonna quit this. And I'm gonna close Steam. And reopen Steam. Close that. Let me try this again. Um, let's go into the settings and see. V-Sync off. Full screen on, I guess. The FOV. Ooh, I can do 100 FOV. Sick. I guess I'll just do game capture. that do that? Oh, yep, there we go. New continue? Oh, okay, so... What does it say about this game? Is this like a game um, that takes multiple... A short horror game where you pilot a tiny submarine through an ocean of blood on an alien moon. That's what it says, okay. Well... New. Decades ago, every known star and habitable planet vanished, leaving only those who were on space stations or starships. This event became known as the Quiet Rapture. With supplies dwindling and infrastructure crumbling, survivors are searching for any trace of natural resources in a universe of barren moons, lit by ghost light of vanished stars. Oh, lit by the ghost light of vanished stars. One such moon holds a strange anomaly, an ocean of blood. You are a convict tasked with exploring this anomaly in a makeshift submarine nicknamed the Iron Lung. It was not designed for this depth, so you will be welded inside and the forward window will be closed. There was no time for training. If successful, you will earn your freedom. Okay. Press any key to continue. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. I thought the game was going to crash. Cruising depth in roughly 40 seconds. Stand by. Um, I'm seeing some voltage irregularities in the instruments, so keep an eye out for sparks or flames or anything like that. Approaching maximum depth. Uh, the hole's feeling it, but it's still holding strong. Closing porthole shielding. We're starting to lose radio signal. You'll be at cruise depth soon, so risk and be careful. You're on your own. Good. Ooh, okay. COI information terminal. This is a local database. Be sure to update before each descent. Last updated today, 5378. 5 slash 378. Okay. Uh. Okay. <laughs> um. W. Um. Cool. Unknown query. Okay. Saving progress. Uh 
Oh, okay. That way. What the heck? Ooh! Um, cool. <laughs> okay, that was Iron Long. That was a really cool game. <laughs> I think I hit a mine. That's cool. Okay. Very, very nice. Very sick. Um, continue. So what, I just don't like... I don't hit those? Uh, I guess, and, uh, I do I avoid blips entirely, or what? Like, how do I... Is there a way to see? These valves do anything? I say, that looked like it was leaking. This is not an expedition, it is an execution. When they put you in here, they don't want you to return. And even if you do, and even if they keep their promises, what freedom waits for you? A few dying ships in a sea of dead stars? There's... If there is still hope, it lies beyond the veil. Hope in this world is an illusionary... Oh. Is as illusionary as the starlight. I will choose to breathe my last... Oh. Yeah, breathe my last here at the bottom of the ocean, unseen, unheard, and uncontrolled. They will get their execution. I will get my freedom. Okay. Is that my character actually saying that? Okay. Well. Uh. O2. Are they in the same spot again? Ooh. Ooh. Hit one again. Okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, to be honest. Besides, I guess, avoiding those. out here. What do I get here? That. Okay. Oh. Go this way. Map. Oh. 325741018. Oh, okay.
Ooh. Oh, this is still... Uh... <laughs> Way too scared is raiding with a party of 14. Hey... How's it going? <laughs> Crit fail with advantage? Floppy jalopy? Yo yo, hey! How's it going? <laughs> I have literally no idea what I'm doing, but I am trying. <laughs> I figured out... Map? And uh, don't run into blips because you explode, I guess. Which scared was just playing this game? Then you're doing great, playing. I'm trying. I have no clue what I'm doing, but I'll, I'll, I'll try. I'm going to 325741. Oh. Try to avoid the mines. Just trying to be cautious. Played this game tonight for the first time. Do you need help? Um. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, uh, this is where I'm at. Oh, back a little bit. Okay, now just figure out the why. Do I just go straight then from there? Oh, yep. Okay. I had trouble starting it out tonight, so don't feel bad, haha. <laughs> well, at least nothing's on fire. Oh, wait, can things... I guess... Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, nothing is on fire yet. Um, I don't know, I'll hit this wall and on the way. Just there. 741. Doing great, son. Ooh. Gonna turn this way. Try to avoid that. Now go back over. Ooh, okay. How about this way? Definitely don't want to back back game for you, but if you need help, I would be happy to. All right, thank you. I will try not to explode or light on fire. Noise. Ooh, I want to hit that this way. Okay. Okay. 
about to say, when <laughs> when am I far enough to avoid it? <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to hit it and explode again. No explodey submarines, please. Oh. Oxygen notification. Oxygen. What do I do about that? <laughs> Did you read the briefing? Uh... Like, the thing... I don't know what... Uh... Be briefing. Oh. Okay. Two weeks ago, we conducted an exploration of Moon at 5... Oh, AT5 for the first time since the Quiet Rapture leading to the discovery of a fourth blood ocean. A trench beneath the ocean's surface has several points of interest. Your task is to photograph these points of interest with the SM-13's forward camera. Photos must be taken within two units of the specified position and 10 degrees of the specified angle. You can also use the camera to help with the navigation. Only photos... Taking out the specified points of interest will be saved. Since you can't navigate by sight, pay attention to your coordinates and consult the map. The proximity indicates next to the sub controls will trigger if you're getting close to an obstacle. Good luck. Okay. Five times exploded. So far, so far I just have one. But, I guess we'll see what happens. Ooh. Saving progress. Ooh. Keep on my path. My map helped me a ton in my playthrough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seven four one. I don't know if this is one of the further points, but I'm like more than halfway there, so I'm just gonna continue. Ooh, okay, maybe not this way. Ooh. I far enough away from the other one to go straight. The question. Ooh, okay. I might have hit somewhere where I'm not able to get through. Ooh. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm gonna not do that. I'm just gonna go backwards, actually. I'm gonna go... from here now. I think I'll go from 300. 
Oh, I was gonna say. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> um. How about three... Ten. Now can I go... This way. This ambience kind of reminds me of, uh, some Nautica. Oh. I don't know how far I can go before I hit them. if I'm able to go this way. <laughs> um... Yeah, uh... Oh. Now there's one there. Okay, that's up there now. Ooh. It's like they're staggered, so then... I can only go so far before I hit another one. This way. <laughs> okay, maybe... maybe not to the right. Um... I don't know how far back to go to, like, go to the left. Oop. Clear to go this way. <laughs> Please. Oh, oh. Maybe I can get through diagonally or something. Try to get back up where I was. Uh, 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 uh. 
Oh. Maybe not this way. Gotta continue on. Where's that relative? Okay, so it's like here. Oh, okay. Are these like tunnels? Because if they're tunnels, then maybe. So, like, where am I now is the question. This is 325. 741. So, I'm at 367 and 429, so 3, 6, so somewhere in here I think, 367, so like right here. Am I hitting like... Where? It's like the opposite way, it looks like. Like, this indicator looks like it's the opposite way. There you go. Yeah. I'm, I'm lost, but... What? So wait. 367. 367. This is 263. You know what, I'm almost... Almost to this, actually, so I might just go back. So then I at least have, like, a starting point, kind of. 7A. Hey, <laughs> thanks for the follow. Three seven eight. Three seven eight. Ooh. I'm going to go to three seven eight actually this time then. Three seven eight uh two six three Seven eight. 
go back up the three once I go over to seven eight. There. And now upward. Just straight ahead. I believe. Ooh. There it is. Three seven eight two six three. Now, boom. <laughs> I don't know if I did that properly or not. <laughs> Depth. How do I control that, or can I not? Because it says 378263050 for A, and I don't know how you can control that. Um. Oh wait, A, so like zero, zero five, O? Is that what it means? There it is. Okay. Did I do it? <laughs> Okay. I... that... Whatever that is. Oh! Hey, there it is. Check mark. Woo! -hoo! I did... I did one. I did one. So this one's down here, so I'll try to get this one. 322186. Two, so... This way... I gotta get out my <laughs> sharpie marker and start writing on my... Oh, well, you know what? Okay, I'll get out... I gotta get out a whiteboard marker and start writing on the monitor so I can see the angle of this line. So that... that much. So a little bit more. Like... Maybe 2.15-ish? Yeah. Okay. 3.22... Ooh. I'm gonna take off, bro. It's 1 a.m. for me. We'll have fun, though. You're on the right track. Nice to meet you. Yep, it was nice. Nice meeting you, too. Way too scared. Uh, thanks again for the uh, follow and... Uh, raid? Question mark? Slash... Uh, whatever it was. Can't think of the name of it now. But anyway. See you later. <laughs> Post. That's that's what I think I was looking for. Three twenty-two. Three twenty-two. Okay. Just a little bit more. Okay. 
322, 186. So I'll just go. One eighty. Oh, I don't want to quit the game. I just was trying to look for the pause menu, so maybe I could get the FOV changed. Because I put it to the max, because I didn't know what this game was. But uh, I don't know if I would actually prefer it to be lower or not, to be honest. Three twenty two one eight six. Okay, let's back it up. There it is, and now zero three three. That's that one. Now it doesn't tell me what this is anymore, like the coordinates. That's unfortunate. Um, so wait, 300, 300 would be right there. So... Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm looking at this now. Because this is where I was trying to go before, and... Wait a second. Oh, maybe I was just hitting up here. Like... I don't know where I started, but if I was just going straight this way, I would just hit the walls. Right here, so... Okay. I see. Which way am I? That way. Does that actually mean that I'm this way? Um, I believe so. I mean, I did come back down this way, so. Just try to get the 300, 300, so that I have like a, uh, kind of like baseline of where I am. Try to be careful. Ooh. Now I think I'm right about there ish, maybe. Oh, I might be going past. Yeah, I might be going past it. Where am I at? So I'm like 292. So 292. I'm actually maybe not past it already, so. I'll do. I'll do 270. Yep. Turn this way. Three oh nine, three eleven, three oh nine, three oh nine on the X. So three oh nine, somewhere in here-ish. Okay, so I think I'm actually go three hundred. Yep. Straighten out mostly, almost straight ahead. 
do 312. Do this. Okay. Do like that angle. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. This is two five nine four oh six. Two five nine four oh six. Wow. Okay, two five nine. 406, so slightly over more. The heck was that noise? Two five nine four oh six two nine six. one now. Um, I want to get out of here. O2. It went down one block. I don't know what that actually, like, does that mean I'm actually running out of oxygen or what? Seeing if I could actually run or not. That'd make me think you could get out of the submarine actually if you can run. Um. This way. Uh. Yeah, about that angle. I think. And then. Right here. It's kinda. I don't know about this. Because it might be a turnaround point right here to go back down around. But I'll try. Right here is three fifty. 3.54.25 So I'm already a little bit Just like that Or 50 Oh wait Wait a second Three fifty four twenty five. Three fifty four twenty five. So then I'll just go as straight as I can this way. Three twenty five. Ooh. Not mistaken, this is like about right here ish.
Okay. It's still slightly there, but it's fine. Yeah, there we go. And now, right there. So I think I'm somewhere around right here-ish. So... How about... 130. Yeah. Three sixty three sixty on the hex. So three sixty would be in here and four twenty five, so three sixty four twenty five, so I'm like right right there. Which makes sense if that's right behind me then. Do 180 then. Just go straight ahead. Uh, maybe like that angle. Okay. It's closer to my back, I guess. It's like giving me a warning at, <laughs> at every angle. Okay. Not, not like around the thing, but like, no matter where I'm going, I'm getting a warning to the left. Okay, I'm clear. So four, four, seven, six, four, seven, or three, seven, six, three, seven, six. So where is three, three, seven, five, and three, seven, five. So I'm like right here. So if I go, I think if I go straight down, I'll be clear still. Yeah. Until I get to, let me see. So 325, 325, Y, 375X, 325, Y, okay, so wait, I'm like, actually, I think I'm clear all the way down, to that point, with the way I'm going right now. up a little bit. Okay. So now, I think I can go to the right. I would have blips on either side of me, I think, if I was going down this way. So then... Do 90 degrees, I think? Yeah, there we go. 90. And I'll get these. This one looks like it might be spicy to get up in this, or I guess rather down, because why, but down in this right corner might be a little bit spicy.
Three. Three twenty-five. Yep. Three twenty-five Y. And uh, four hundred. Four hundred. Okay, that would be right there. So I'll just get to four hundred, and then I'll be. I'll wait. Yep, that makes sense to be giving me an indicator there. Because that would be to my right if I'm going this way. But I am still clear of that, so... I think I'm just going to go straight ahead through. Basically disregarding that warning. <laughs> but... No issue. 56277. Oh. Uh. <laughs> no, please. Five sixty two seventy seven. Yep. Just let that go, cause whatever. Saving progress. I think I can go, yeah, I can go all the way across, I think, and still be okay. Uh, at 502 almost. So 500 is in here somewhere, right over here. Then, you know, I'll just preemptively do this. 120 degrees? If I'm at 500 in here, a little bit more, like 130-ish degrees. stopped <laughs> whatever that was uh, I think I overshot it a little bit but I think it was in within two uh, or so so I think I would just go up one so I almost almost had it Okay, and zero four three. <laughs> there it is. Okay, image. All right, that's another one. Yep. So then, if I do this, so where was this at? 560, 277. So I think I'm just going to go over a little bit more. I think I'm going to go, what's this say? 613, 197, which I think I'd be clear to go across. So I will just go. Straight ahead to the right. Okay, and one ninety seven once I get there, six thirteen. Oh, 
Oh. Six thirteen and one ninety seven. So one eighty degrees. If I can get it to be at one eighty. Okay, I'm just gonna go then. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I might be like point something off. 197. Saving progress. There it is, okay. And at what angle? 55 degrees. So just one more. And... Okay. Ooh. Oh, I can't remember what the name of it is. It's like a... I guess you would say an enemy from... Super Mario Bros. I can't remember what the name of it is, though. It's got like the... It's just all bones. Okay. That's that one. So now... Go... Seven hundred X, seven hundred X, which then I can just, I'll just go straight from here. Or actually, I'll get lined up, I'll go to two hundred Y, so that I'm on like a, uh, like a point. Two hundred Y, and then just go seven hundred for X. Full speed ahead, because I don't think there was. Yeah, I don't think there was anything that I would hit going this way, and there weren't any down below that. So just go to seven hundred X. I don't know why, but this game makes me think of Desert Bus. Like... You just kinda... you just kinda go. <laughs> you just kinda go and you kinda can see things on the side of the road, but it's like... You know, a majority of it is just kind of... Just waiting. Waiting for things... To see, or if there's something that happens, really. The only... The only difference with Desert Bus is like you're... You're always moving, and if you don't... Well, I don't think you're always moving. Maybe not necessarily. It's just that... When you are moving, you would be always, like, hitting a directional. Because, like, the bus pulls to the right, I think. You know what? Why not take a picture right here? Rocks. So, I am at 200, 700, so I'll go up to 2, 260 I'll go up to. This might be spicy trying to get through here, but I'll go, go 260. 260Y. Because I'm over here, yeah, okay, so... 
Once I get up to 260Y, then I'll go straight across to the right. 260Y. Okay. 260, which is like right here somewhere. So then that is an X of 864. That's 258. Yeah, if that's 258, I might go slightly higher. But 275 would hit this here, so. Um. Maybe I'll go to. I'll go 265. There. Because this is what? 258. So yeah, I'll go 265. And. 864, so I'll go straight across to the right at 90 degrees. There it is. Right here is where I could hit if I'm going this way. That's what? 864. So I'll just wait for my indicator to like say, oh hey, you're about to hit something. Uh, 750-ish. Yep, I was gonna say, I expected a warning around here, so. 70 fit, or 750. And I'm, I think somewhere in here. I think I'm still clear though. Yeah. Yep, that's fine. Keep giving me those warnings. <laughs> Keep giving me those warnings, that's fine. And I'll go at an angle of... 75, I believe. Yeah, okay. Where is this? 790. So 790 is... Oh, okay. I'm almost there. So... Try to just... Make my way to 800. Yep, that's fine. That means I'd be hitting this almost, but I'm still clear. So once I'm at 800, I'm at 272 on the Y. So 272 is almost here, so... Um, I'll just go up to 275. Which might give me a warning up there. Nope, didn't. Okay, now I think I can go straight. I'll go to the 90 again. Because that down there is just to my side, so... Ooh. This is 864. Ooh, that's a little bit spicy. Turn around, turn around. Yeah. 
saving progress. 825, so 864. There, now the indicator stopped. 864258. I think I can just go back to 90 again and just go from there. 864258. 864 and now to 258 on the Y. straight down. Nope. Ooh. There. Eight six four two five eight two oh nine. That's that. So I'll go back up to 360. Eight fifty three hundred. So where's right here? This is seven seventy five, seven seventy five, and two seventy five. Seven seventy five, two seventy five. So what does that angle look like? Two forty five. from the two thirty-five. There you go. Okay. Um the I'm right here. You know what? I'll go go to two seventy and I will try try to do where am I at? Eight fifty. So right here, so yeah, I'll go from 825 instead, and then I'll change it to 235. Okay, 825 and at an angle, 235. Which will get me to seven seventy five, which has a Y of three, no, two seventy five. Okay. Uh, 
which I might get a warning to the... Nope, no warning. Okay. I'm at seven, seven, eight, nine. Seven eighty nine. Seven eighty nine is right here, about ish. So I might need more angle, actually. Try an angle of 215 until I get a warning indicator in front of my submarine. Well, <laughs> until I get a warning indicator in the front of my submarine, okay. That makes me think I'm already down here somehow. I don't know, I'm gonna try to get as close as I can to it without hitting it. I'm gonna do 267. that too. Where is this? 745. Oh, I'm already, I'm like out here now. Okay. 745. So, and 266. 266. I'm right here then. So then, I'll go down slightly at an angle of 250. Yeah. Um, once I get to, say right here, so 225, 225 and 575. hit something? What just happened? Where am I? <laughs> I'm at 576. Five, five, seven, six. Well, I'll get to five seventy five. Okay. And three fifty four. Three, three, five, four. Oh, I'm like right here ish. Or no, like right here ish. So. I'll do 565. Y of 351. So 351. Like somewhere in here, I think. So then I think I can go straight. You know what? Two seventy. Oh no, wait. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just go straight up. Straight up. Wait a second. 
the one number went off because it said negative. Yeah. It can... I want to do that. I want to go at negative. Oh, come on, I had it almost. Oh, I could have left it and then tried. Nah. I might see it again. It just go zero, so straight up. Oh, I didn't even think about this. This could be... This could have been connected right here. I just didn't get to... I didn't try it, so... Oh... Well, that's unfortunate. It might be able... I might be able to get up through here. And if not, then it might just be right here to go... ...back. But, yeah. I'll go just straight up. Straight up until... 500. As long as I'm not coming into contact with anything as I go up. Uh, I'm good. Just a side indicator. Now I think I'm through that tunnel. Just waiting to hit something else. Because there's not anything marked here where I'm going, but... Like, things like that. <laughs> there, okay. 500. So, actually... I'll go up to 525. This is at 520. So, actually, I'll just go up to 520. Because I'll be slightly away from the wall at that point. Okay. And 623. 623. Six twenty three at zero six three. This way. Okay. What's here? Bone. Now I think I can go. 270. This will be... Yeah, 270. And I think I can just go straight back. If not, then I might... Re, uh... Oh yeah, yeah, I think, I think I can do that. Till what point? Till like... 350 Slow down for a little bit
See if that's just a temporary blip. Does not seem like it, because it might be the upward wall. You know what? I haven't been checking this. Okay. That's fine. Oxygen. And I'm on my way. Saving progress. Temporary or... Ooh, okay. 400. 350. Oh, 375. Ah, see that's why. Yep. Three seventy five, okay. So at three seventy five I am right here, so this is unknown basically, so navigating it might be slightly spicy, but Um, go at an angle of three, three forty-five, maybe. And just go like that. I think I have until. 360 on the X before I come in contact. So, 365, 365, somewhere in here actually. So, I might go. That is not temporary, I don't think. So I will just Ooh. I'll go at like five degrees away from it. Ooh, okay, maybe more than five degrees, jeez. Like, <laughs> 40 degrees? Yeah, this might be a little bit spicy. You know, I'll go like... 10 degrees. Now they're about the same, it looks like, so I'll just go straight ahead. Until what point? Up until... 375, 650. 375... Three seven five. Oh wait. Well, I'm not at that, so. Six fifty. I'll just get up to six fifty. So 
650. And I will go... Oh. No more, please. I get it? Oh. I think I got it. <laughs> I hit something? Okay. Three, six, eight. Where's three, six, eight? So. Mm. Seven hundred. Oh, wait. I don't want to do that. I'm just gonna go up to 700 on the Y. And then I'll take from there what uh, angle or whatever to get up. Just wanna make sure that's not on fire again. Seven hundred. I'm at three six eight. I will just go. Just go to three twenty-five. Then look at the direct coordinate after that. Sure that again, yep. Three twenty five on the X. There it is. Okay. And this is oh, three twenty five on the X, just seven four one. Saving progress. Seven four one. Okay. I think I've been playing this for an hour and twenty five minutes or something like that. And that is whatever it is trying to show me here. No clue, but you know, I guess that's kind of maybe it's just kind of up to interpretation, or maybe after I complete all the like things or whatever, they give me some kind of um like thing that says, "Hey, this is what this is," or whatever. Are you found this in in the uh, in your search? So, okay. Unmapu. Um, just two, just two more. 
but this might just be day one or whatever. They, uh, there might be more, multiple days. So, here. So, 6.50. So, 6.65. 6.65, straight down. Yes. Six sixty five straight down. I feel like I like I avoided something. Like I feel like there's something I missed. But again, I really don't know anything about this game, so Six sixty-five. Besides what I'm doing now, that's pretty much it. Six sixty-five. So then I would be able to just go over until like two hundred. Two hundred. Let me recheck this. Yeah, okay, yeah. Just go two hundred and I can get down here and then I can just turn around and get this last one. Okay. Um as long as nothing else happens. Ooh. Saving progress. Might be close to the, uh, wall. Might re... Realign myself. So like 200, yes. When both of these are blinking about the same speed, that's when I'll just go straight to the left again. Till 200, yes. Giving me a proximity warning. That's fine. Right in front of me. So, I'm at 200. 200, 662. So I could go down to 250, I think, and still be clear, but where is 250? 650 rather. So 650 I'll go down to... Might get a dual proximity warning, but nope, nope. Just still just the... the one to the right of the sub. So I'm right here at this see. How about an angle of 190? Eh, 195. Yeah, I'll do an angle of 195 to um, 625. And then I think I can almost go straight down. Six twenty-five. Okay. Did 
There it is, the warnings. That's fine. 625. Actually can continue a little bit over. Still giving me a proximity warning on the the left side. Okay. Where's this at? Five seven six. Hey, no more of that. Five seven six. Having a good time. Having a good time. Having a good time. Five seven six. One eighty. Oh, okay. I'm at it. One eighty four. Very good. Now I'm gonna see something spooky in the monitor. There it is. Scare me. Okay. Looks like a starfish, kind of. Six, seven, five, eight, two, eight. I can do a three sixty in here. Yes. straight back. Okay. <laughs> All right. 635. Where am I at? Right here-ish. Think. 635... And... 277. Wait, what? 277. Uh... 277. It's like over here. Oh. <laughs> okay. So I'm like right here. Sick. Thanks for the teleport. Thank you, engineer. Very helpful of you. So if I go 90... I'll go 90 until 350. Okay, 350, right here-ish somewhere, I'll go up to 6, you know what, I'll go up to 700, yeah, or I guess, um, I'll go to 680.
Yeah, 680. Got it. 680. So then... Somewhere in here... So then... 575. Five seventy five. Saving progress. The heck? Get out of here. Whoa. None of that, please. Coming back. Stop that. I'm at 475, and I want to get to 575, that's what I was going, right? Hey there. There shouldn't be another thing here, right? Peekaboo. Oh, there is. 500. Wait a second. 500. Oh. Okay. So, like, down more? Like 120? Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Send you. Where does it put me? <sighs> okay. It's not... I don't even think that's marked there, though. I could be wrong, though. Well, I guess this is gonna happen again, I think. Where I say, hello, to the monster. Yep. Hi, friend. Bye, friend. Where do I start getting... That's to the left now. See, that makes sense. That it's there, but it was saying it was in front of me last time. I'm cleared for takeoff. That one's blinking again. Oxygen notification. Oh no. Not the oxygen again.
Oh. Hey now. F575. F75. So up until 750. Taking a nice bath. Wait, where? 725 725 which is right here so maybe 735 Then a ninety degree yep. until when like six fifty. I might be a little bit too low. Oh. Seven. Fifty-five. Now go over again. Till... Six, seven, five. Ooh. Say, is it chasing me or is it just wall? Hey, now. Six, seven, five. And how far up? Eight to eight. Final one. What what angle? Two nine five. I could have gone the other way. Here I'll just do that. Oh, it's right there. Two nine five. Oh, final one. Here goes. Never mind. <laughs> Wait, this was the same. This was the same person as the last one. I didn't even realize that. Okay. Well, almost three hours.
The expedition ultimately raised more questions than answers. Satellite images showed pieces of the SM-13 scattered all over the bottom of the trench, as though it had been torn apart by some huge beast. The wreckage cannot be reached at this time. No photographs have been recovered. The stars shine pale as bones. The moon is a lifeless corpse. Its ocean, a gaping wound. The universe, what's left of it, is dying. But somewhere in the void, there must be hope. Okay. Is that... Is that it? Hey, okay. Okay, okay. I'm like, almost at three hours in two minutes. Two minutes I'll be at three hours. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Alrighty then. <laughs> that was Iron Lung. Uh, I thought I was gonna see the thing on the screen before that happened, but I guess not. So. Anyway. Well, I think I'll, uh... <laughs> I think I'll move on to, uh... Fallout 3, possibly. And do that for, uh, another... Mm, I'll say t maybe two or three hours, something like that. So, yeah, that was, um... That was, that, that was Iron Lung. I'm gonna quit now. So then... Fallout 3. Game of the Year Edition. Woo! That was, that was interesting. I mean, I still feel like I might have missed something. But, I'm not really sure, because again, that, that was like my first time actually, like, playing it, and... I guess really seeing it to that degree because like I think I remember the buttons and stuff but I thought you know I thought there was more more to it than than that but yeah let me let me get this on screen now game capture I don't know do window capture and all three, switch it over. Um, I don't know what I want to put as a title now. <laughs> Cherry fun times. There we go. Spooky games? No, no. Fallout 3. <laughs> Jerry. Cherry fun times. Now it's updated. So now I'm not in like the the iron lung uh category playing Fallout 3. 
Okay. I don't even remember what I was doing last. At the mall. Load this game. Oh, okay. I met 3Dog and... <laughs> he, I think, gave some information about where my father might be and now I'm looking again. Uh, I think I was getting, trying to get to Rivet City. And, uh... This save is... This save is a little bit, uh... Might be a little bit spicy. I'll just take a little step... I'll just take a few steps away from the stairs. Hello! Ouch. <laughs> oh wow, okay. I'm not taking more damage, I thought I would be. hits to the take with the hammer. Okay, I'm just gonna load back. Where's my volume at? Did I lower my volume back down to like five? Yes, I did. Yeah, I'm just gonna load back. And, uh... Let me pull out... Combat shotgun? This does 55, but... Here I come. Hey pal. That's one. Getting back down. Are these turrets like shooting at me? I thought there was a... How did I save? I saved like this. I thought there was a turret up here. I don't know why. I don't know what I saw that looked like a turret. Hey pal. No more, please. Oh. Condition. Yep. Ow. Okay. Stim pack. Stim pack. Stim pack. Stim pack. Stim pack. There we go. There. Oh. Over there. Hey now, pal. Five millimeter. Thirty-two caliber five millimeter minigun. Don't I have a? Yes, I do have a minigun. Is it fully repaired? I don't know. Let me see. Oh, I can repair it more. Just pull out the minigun. I didn't realize it did that much damage. <laughs> Just hold it down. Just hold it down. <laughs> Reload! Thirty-two caliber. Hey now. Can go up here, right? Yep. Sure can. Aid. Stim pack, stim pack, stim pack, stim pack, stim pack. I got three more. Five millimeter rounds. No more of that. Oh, I have missiles? I didn't know that. Hunting rifle. Ouch. Hey now. What kind of weapons they have? I think one of them has a melee that's coming towards me now. Ouch. There goes my leg. 
I crippled theirs. Broke my own arms. Aid. Stim pack, stim pack, stim pack, stim pack. Like almost out of, uh... I used like, how many now? Okay, now... No more. What do you have? Assault rifle and super sledge. <laughs> which weighs 20 pounds, or well, which weighs 20... Wait. 20 kilograms. 20... Stone. 20... Any other weight. That you can think of. It is just weight. I'm surprised the condition of this isn't lower. I got a critical. 32 caliber. I think the last time I played I bought <laughs> those stim packs, so... I mean, hey. Have them now. I guess. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where'd they go? Bunker. Ow. No more of that, please. 20 stim packs. Go into the bunker. Ooh, okay. Uh, go out of the bunker, please. Chase me, chase me. Oh, do they respawn out here? Oh no. I didn't save after that first initial battle slash whatever. Um... Um, I've become addicted to MedX. Oh boy. Yep, I'm just gonna load back to the autosave then. And I'm probably gonna sell, you know, I'm probably gonna sell the MedX. Probably gonna sell all the drugs that I can get addicted to. To be honest. Danger. Oh no, please. I'm gonna take all this ammo. Stimpak, purified water. I'll drink the purified water. Actually, no. Just drop Nuka Cola. I do have the laser rifle. Okay, thought I was gonna die there. Stim pack. Stim pack, stim pack, stim pack. There. Sick battle music. Oh yeah, that is a thing I did since the last time, is I turned up the, uh... ...music. I turned the radio... I think I turned the radio all the way down. Because of copyright, so... Yep, radio is turned all the way off, basically. Okay. 
Um... <laughs> door does not open. Okay, I think that's the ones that were here. Oh. Besides possibly going down to where the bunker is again. Ouch, 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 ouch. Got him. Pick up the minigun, repair my minigun. Repair, minigun. And I'll just pull it out again. Where are they at? Oh. Whoa. Hey, 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 hey. No more police. No more police. No more police. <laughs> That's unfortunate, and the last save was the auto save, so. Time to redo that. Yep. Here goes. Ow. Stim pack, stim pack, stim pack. Oh, crippled their arm. Oh. Oh, they picked it up. I'm out of that ammo. There's a rifle again. Okay. Now that there's more over here, I believe. At least I thought so. Uh, I'll try to get to the capital. If I can. Whoa. 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 Whoa, okay. I'm just gonna wait right here and, uh, just watch. Jeez. <laughs> Woo! Well, that was a pretty sick, uh... Oh. Rob it. That's that a Talon? B. Yep, Talon Company Merc. Let's see, I have... this. Missed. Hoo -hoo! Right arm crippled. Very good. Aid. Stim pack. Stim pack. Stim pack. Stim pack. Oh, that was the one I had. The one missile I had. Combat shotgun. Oh no. 
guess what? I think it's time to restart from there again. Yep. Um. Is there any other way about doing this? Whoa, well, I forgot about that. Ow. Laser rifle. Ow. Whoa. That didn't explode last time. <laughs> that didn't explode last time. Things exploding now that were not previously. Okay, I'm gonna save right here now that I am not fighting something. And I'll go over here again. Fight the talons. Jeez. It broke the robo brain this time. Oh, another one over there. Oh. This is my snipe rifle. Oh. My snipe rifle is not broken. Oh. Please no. And there goes my snipe rifle. Your weapon is broken. Uh, that's unfortunate. Rocket launcher. Missile launcher, rather. Wait to see if they go next to each other. Eh, they might be not close enough to damage both. So. It's one. That's... No, that's right leg crippled. Um, aid, stim pack, stim pack, stim pack, stim pack. Weapons. Laser rifle. Okay, and combat shotgun.
Okay. Combat shotgun pulse mines, shotgun shell, talent combat armor. And now I repair <laughs> repair mine with that. Well, now I put on that one. And repair it with mine that is entirely broken. I guess. How much weight am I carrying? Oh, because repair this with that. And I have, what, pulse mines? Yeah. <laughs> Drop the police baton. Bottle cap. You know what? Keep the police baton. What do I have else? That might be droppable. Peril. That's right, I have recon armor. Oh, it weighs 20. Yeah, I, when I get back to Megaton, I'll put that away. Sensor module. There we go. Another combat shotgun, pulse mine, shotgun shell. So, repair again. Yep. And put on laser rifle again. Laser pistol, minigun. Oh, and that too. Repair. With that. Repair laser pistol with theirs. Peril. Pair with theirs. Okay. Another combat shotgun, pack of cigarettes. Oh. And repair. Damage resistance of 20. But my total is 31 damage resistance, okay. Combat shotgun. I don't have enough skill to repair further, and that will be that then. I have discovered capital building. Now I'll save right here. I think I'm just gonna go back to Megaton, because now I have the capital building, uh, as a marker, so I can just... I can just teleport to it. To go drop that stuff. You again, huh? Nervy bastard, aren't you? Luxury apartment. Locker. I hope things are going okay. well with you today, sir. I put those in there. Well, I guess I'll put armor in this. Peril, recon armor, helmet. Sneak plus five. I think this has, yeah, more damage resistance, so. I'm just gonna keep the damage resistance. Robco jumpsuit I'll put in there. Um Misc. I can go sell this stuff. 
Ammo items. The police baton. Oh, okay. Well, I think I'm gonna transfer this stuff from in here down there then. Into this other locker. Weapons. Yep. There. Fire Lance I'll put in there. Um, police baton. Baseball bat. I'll keep Ripper just in case. Um, aid. Yeah. I think I'm going to sell the uh, addiction stuff. Nuka Colas I'll sell too because they give radiation, so probably not going to hold on to them. What is my. I have 219 caps. I'll save here. Over this one. What time? Quick loading? What? I don't know what I just did, but I'll actually load my manual save. Just in case something uh, happened when I did that. Over there is the crater side supply. We'll go into the saloon and see. Don't shoot, please. Just tell me what you want. I need a drink. Sure thing. Actually, stim packs. Four. Uh, actually, the rest. Uh... Jet. Uh... Blood pack. Uh... Medex. You know what? I'll hold on to, like, two. Because... I might use them. One. <laughs> One. Yeah, I'll just hold two of like... Mentats... Are Mentats something you can get addicted to? I don't know. I'll keep five. Nuka-Cola. I don't know, wait. I'll just sell... I'll just sell the Nuka Colas. I'll take the jet back and sell the Nuka Colas because. And you know what? No, 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 no. Medex. I'll take one Medex back and then get rid of the jet because the jet is just AP and I don't usually use. Vats, so I don't think I would use it regardless. And I do have a stealth boy, which I'll sell somewhere else. See you soon, drunky. See you soon. Yep. And I'll go to Crater Side Supply. Oh. Nope. I'll wait then. Oh yeah, because it's 4.12am, so 
I'll just wait. Fiddle with any interesting technology lately? Oh, that's right. <sighs> I haven't been over to the Robco facility yet. Well. But I have. I just like I I couldn't do the optional thing yet. I didn't have enough uh, science skill. Um. Let me see what you have for sale. Sure thing. Items. Eight. Okay. Mentats. Six. Stealth boy. Um. I'll take some stim packs. Um. Oh, Psycho. Take five. And I'll take more of these. Take another one of those. There. Good hunting. Oh, wait, I still have more stuff to sell. Miscellaneous, here we go. All my packs of cigarettes. Pre-war money. Sensor modules. And, uh... Yeah, I think that's it. And then scrap metal, I can give to Walter. Good hunting! Try not to die! Try not to die. I'm just here to make sure nothing goes wrong with you or her. Okay. Which, I can go back to the saloon or I can go to the uh, water treatment plant. Either one of those. I don't know where Walter will be this time. Not in here. So water treatment, wherever that is. Oh, who is this? Megaton Settler. Jericho's house. My house. Yep. And then signs are up here. Clinic, commons, luxury apartment, saloon. That is Lucas Sims house. Oh. You need a lockpick skill of 50. Wait, I thought I had the key. Okay, I guess not. I thought I took it from... from them, but... Okay, well, I just went around. Saloon. Where is the water treatment, then? Is it just up here and I didn't see it, or... I just went past it because I didn't check here. Uh, this is common house, restroom. Yeah, where is the water treatment plant? <laughs> well, where was I last in? 
the saloon. Door to the children of Adam. Oh, where do the pipes lead to? There's a pipe that goes up there. This is the clinic. For in the division, we shall see our release from the pain and hardships of this world. Yea, your suffering shall exist no longer. It shall be washed away in Adam's glow, burned from you in the fire of his brilliance. Okay. Each of us oh. shall give birth to a million stars. Back into the clinic. That is what. Have you seen my wife anywhere around here? <laughs> God bless the enclave. Okay. Where? You'd best have cancer because, from the looks of you, you're breaking rule number one right now. I need to buy medical supplies. Planning on going out and getting shot up, eh? More stim packs. Like eight. How many do I have currently? Twenty-seven. Yeah, so eight I'll have thirty-five then. But I'll just buy more one there just buy all the stim packs I can now I have 41 you done good try to be careful okay pipe Pipe. Oh. Yeah, they don't. I don't think there's a sign for the water treatment. Children of Adam. Um. Up here? Greater side supply. Restroom. Where is the water treatment plant? Is this the water treatment plant? I don't think so. Oh, it is water processing plant. There it is. Hey, now I can. Um, huh? Yeah. What is it? Interesting and buying. Interested in buying some scrap metal? I sure am, Sonny. What have you got for me? Just take all the scrap metal I have. Oh. Just take all the scrap metal I have, no charge, I just want to help. Are you serious? Why, I'll be. Thank you, stranger. I can't tell you what this means to Megaton. There you go. I have to go now. Well, back to work. And that's the scrap metal. Um, iron. How much is it worth? Value of two. Oh, there's new coal in here. New cola, pre-war money, and a camera. Let's go sell them somewhere else. Oh, cola. Pre-war money, metro ticket, new cola. Oh, and there was another camera in here. Now I go sell this somewhere else. Did I check this? Yes. Okay. And that is the stuff from my inventory to sell slash get rid of. Back in the crater side supply. You know, I think I've found a new way to prepare rad roach meat. 
Still tastes like old feet, though. Anyway, what's up with you? Let me see what you have for sale. Absolutely. Items, weapons, apparel, aid, miscellaneous, pre-war money, cameras, um... What else did I pick up? Oh, that's right, new Coca-Colas. And there we go. Good hunting! I have to go now. The info you're bringing back is great! Looking forward to more! I need higher science skill for the Robco robots. Oh, it's down there. Well, fast travel to the Capitol building then. Auto saving. What are my quests right now? Reprogram the Robco facility mainframe. Located man. Oh, okay, so that's in Rivet City, so I can do that. Those find a home for Brian Wilkes. Still haven't done that yet. Blood ties located the family. That, if I can find where Ian is. Aiding the outcast. Investigate the outcast radio signal. Not of this world. Okay, these I think are DLC stuff. So, I'll just continue on to Rivet City. Oh, missiles. Oh, and a missile launcher. Let me. See if I can repair mine with that. Yep. There you go. A millimeter rounds. That's right, I didn't even loot any of those bodies. Oh, this robo brain can get uh, one of the cells, energy cells. I'll take the scrap metal. Up and over. I think I have the laser rifle, yep. Laser rifle equipped, so whenever whenever I see enemies to fire at, that'll be my weapon. Seventh Street. Madison Drive. Friend, your little friend, Willow. Must be lost. Another human with a death wish. Welcome to the mall, tourist. <laughs> uh, I'm not a tourist. Go now. Till next time, sightseer. What's up, tourist? Okay, well, I guess those are just the dialogue options that I have. Um, where the hell did you come from? Nice to meet you, too. I'm the sentry for Underworld. City of ghouls. Inside the museum. For a tourist, you're pretty clueless. My name's Willow, by the way. Did you say a city of ghouls? Sure did. 
underworld. It's right inside the Museum of History, then through the Big Skull. Most of the residents ain't crazy about humans, but they'll sell to you, fix you up so long as your caps are good and you ain't a ghoul hater. You're crazy to stand out here, aren't you afraid of the super mutants? Those knuckle draggers? Nah, they don't bother us ghouls. Maybe they see us as kin or something, I don't know. Now there's other assholes. Other assholes? <laughs> Question mark? <sighs> yeah, you know, those humans like you. Well, maybe not like you, I don't know, but humans all the same. The Brotherhood of Steel guys with their testosterone and power armor. Those Psycho Talon Company mercs. Those other assholes. I have to go now. Till next time, Sightseer. Yee. Oh, okay, so... Down through here, I guess? The museum. Uh oh. First mistake, last mistake. No more, please. Combat shotgun, shotgun shell. That's right, I did not have the ability to repair my combat shotgun. Yep. So just drop. Open door. Nuka-Cola, three. I'll just sell those when I get to wherever there is a trader. Ooh. I think I've... It feels like I've been here before, but it might just be because of the, uh... The way that these like areas look like because I think I've been to like three or four areas that are similar to this railway spikes I don't have the railway rifle if that is available in this game box empty box Okay, that is not the marker, so keep forgetting about F. Forgot I had this hat on as well. There, I'll holster my weapon. Oh, not anymore. Ten millimeter round, ten millimeter pistol, pack of cigarettes, and yeah, that'll be what I'll pick up. And mm. there, repair that slightly. Door to Anacostia Crossing Station. Okay. Reloading. Aid. Stim pack, stim pack, stim pack. Yep. Oh. Hey. Just wanted to get this. Oh. 
no more. 10 millimeter round, bottle cap, and 10 millimeter submachine gun. Which then I have another one so I can repair it. There we go. I was about to say, sick music. Still kinda going, but not like before. Oop. Save here. Right here. Over this. Might be going downward. Ting 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 ting. Surely do like the noises of the ting 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 bottles. Oh, Nuka Cola and Nuka Cola Quantum. How much does the Nuka Cola Quantum sell for? Thirty. And regular Nuka Cola sells for twenty. So. So, ten more caps. Anacostia Crossing. Oh look, more of them. Hello, friends. No, I have more of these now. Ooh. Okay, combat shotgun time. Hey. No more. What the heck? Oh, ran out of ammo myself. Ow. Where am I getting shot from? Is it that <laughs> private contract kill Jerry? Very good. Barrel. Oh, theirs is more prepared than mine. Put it back on. There you go. Weapons. There, now I have more combat shotgun ammo. Can I repair further? No. Weapons, this, yes. That is as far repaired as it can be, I believe, and... Back to the laser rifle again. Oh, I have discovered Rivet City. What's this?
Oh. Drinking this, please help me. Okay, I guess I don't. I thought I had at least one purified water or something. Aid. I guess not. Oh. To get a, <laughs> I wanted to get a save with the with the Rivet City in it, but jeez. <laughs> I'll just go up here and see if there's a place to get a picture from. Still trying to get the whole thing, the whole thing in frame. You cannot proceed in that direction. Please turn back. Come on now. That that's yeah. I'll just do that. Here. Pretty sick. Cannot go in that direction. Please turn around. Okay then. And then I can just... Yeah. There we go. Does that put me? The auto saved right here? <laughs> Question mark? Um, how do I actually get into Rivet City? Ooh. Oh. Um. Because of the time, maybe. I'll wait till the AM hours then. And see what happens. Okay. Well, there's a bridge over there, so. I just go that way. to get attacked.
Come get me. Stimpak, 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 Stimpak. Weapons. Combat shotgun. Five millimeter rounds, minigun. Can I repair my minigun with the minigun? Nope, don't have enough repair skill, so drop. Uh, I'm in combat. I may not interact with you while I am in combat. Oh. Oh, where did... Where'd they go? Caution. Oh, right there. Come get me. Oh, I got pulse mines. And ten. I'm over here. Help. Come this way, please. Let go. Now I may release them because I am not in combat. The super mutants have bound the captive for transportation. The ropes are digging into her wrist. She's obviously suffering from their abuse. Untie her. before they tied me up. You take them. It's the best I can do to thank you. No, you'll need it more than I will. You'd know best, wouldn't you? I have to go. Again, thank you. They're gonna go back to Rivet City is the question. Bridge, go. Uh oh. Don't shoot them. Shoot me. What? What is going on?
they kill him? Nope. Okay. Be free. 32 caliber. Keep that. Holstered. Now where's the bridge? Right there. Door to broken bow locked very hard. How do I get into... How do I get into Rivet City, then? <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh... Just do this, because then I can just fast travel to up here. Yeah, because there's not a way across here, currently. So I don't know how to get up there. Security intercom. I didn't see that originally. Welcome to Rivet City. Please wait while the bridge extends. Oh. Oh. Okay, I didn't know that's... <laughs> I didn't know that existed. Right there. State your business in Rivet City. <laughs> oh, I'm just wandering around. I'm looking for a Dr. Lee. Yeah? Let me guess. No, she's not expecting you. But it's really important, and you need to see her right away. Been a lot of that going around lately, and I've had just about enough of it. So you're going to have to do better than that. Charisma. Hey, it's no big deal. I just need to see her for a minute and I'll be gone. Fine, just don't bother her. She's real busy, what with all her work. She's up in the science lab. Is there anyone on the ship named Pinkerton? Are those rumors still floating around? Look, I don't have time for swapping ghost stories with you. Pinkerton's a legend. Dead or long gone. Don't care much as I've got real people to take care of. Go bother someone else. Thanks for the help. Carry on then. Okay. I shall carry on. Oop. 
Oh. Well. Only after I, uh... Oh. Free ammo. Okay. Like, actually can just take this without it being stealing. Same with this. I can just take this without it being stealing. Okay. Thank you. Uh... I want to fly. I have to fly. Let me in. We gotta go. Oh. I gotta fly to New Vegas. <laughs> Well, goodbye, Barrel. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. What do you want? So where's your family? My mom is probably drunk, and my dad's dead. Is that good enough for you, asshole? Oh, I'm sorry. What's your problem, mister? Do you know anything about Rivet City? How they made it? Anything? It's a boat. A really big boat. I gotta run. Stay out of trouble, James. Whatever. I don't have, like, the dialogue options to do anything else. Ooh, motorcycle gas tank. Oh, and there goes the, the handle. Wait, now that I'm at Rivet City, I can do this. Find out what Pinkerton at Rivet City knows about the android. Oh, well, doesn't have a marker for it, but I'll keep it on that one. Hmm? Marketplace. Private city guard. And I'm not able to lockpick those. <laughs> uh, detected. By who, though? <laughs> They're all sleeping at the wall. How do they. How am I detected? Well. Up I go. Oh. Very easy. And I'm allowed to just do this on the security terminal. Males. Fries. Oh, let me look for studs first. If there are any. The brackets. Don't see any in here. Yeah, there might not be. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Baird. Clues, line, tiles. Tiles? Farms. Fries. And again.
Owls, wakes, tower, tires, bones, cover, lover, tomes, worth, towel, tired, uh, tomes, towel, Welcome to the Rivet City computer system. What would you like to do today? Security log. Security log. Two more reports of Myrlurk noise from the bow section. There isn't a damn thing that can be done about it. As soon as we clean out one nest, another moves in. I just wish everyone would stop bitching about it. Railing on the flight deck is still broken. Problem has been referred to the council. Brock got in a fight with that sister character, and if it happens again, I'm going to have to kick sister off the ship. Caught James Hargrave stealing food at Gary's galley. Tammy paid the fine, although she blistered my ears the whole time. Okay. And I was allowed to read that, I guess. Private Jones. Sir, yes sir. Private Jones reporting. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> Private, there's a security emergency on the flight deck. Sir, that's a really stupid idea, sir. Aw. Uh, at ease, Private, I'm here to inspect the armory. Sir, you are not authorized to enter the armory, sir. Please don't make me shoot you, sir. Okay. Load. Auto bridge tower. So I won't I won't activate. I won't activate Private Jones. Oh no. Do this again. Lives uh weld uh tires. I'm gonna get this again. Uh, cover, uh, notes, uh, point. Oh no. Suits, sends, uh, looks. Agent opens seeds <sighs> tower looms local logic. sure I get those if they meant anything sir yes sir private Jones reporting so what's your story slag heap sir this slag heap is guarding the armory sir sir yes sir okay so it keeps the keeps the same uh, dialogue options so then I can I can come back to it eventually light deck empty empty filing cabinet bottle caps there wasn't anyone in here so take it Activate security's terminal, another one that I can activate. Very easy. 
Plots. Point. Uh, price. Security log. Okay, so still... Still the same. But I do get XP for unlocking it, so... Mr. Lopez. Haven't run into you before. You probably wouldn't remember me anyway. I'm Mr. Lopez. Why wouldn't I remember you? Nobody does. I'm not very memorable. Don't worry. It won't be a problem for much longer. Real courage is living, only cowards commit suicide. I don't... I don't want to... I don't want to kill him. But I don't... I wouldn't use these options if there were others. The uh, second one, I guess. You may be right, but I have nothing to live for. What about Ted? He needs guidance, a father figure. I suppose I could talk to him. He is kind of a lost boy. Thank you, stranger. Hey. Someday, maybe I'll get courage. <laughs> okay, well, I'll redo that. Haven't run into you before. Why wouldn't I remember you? Nope. Real courage is living, only cowards commit suicide. What about Ted? He needs guidance, a father figure. Ted Strayer. I suppose I could talk to him. He is kind of a lost boy. Thank you, stranger. Okay, this time I won't go off the edge. I'm on duty. Make it quick. Oh. I'm tracking down a guy named Pinkerton. Do you know where I can find him? Don't you believe the rumors? His ghost is certainly not haunting the bow of the ship. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. Oh. Time for me to go. Later. So the bow of the ship, if I could... <laughs> I, I need a hundred lockpick skill to get in there so don't mind me I'm just taking up space here sorry pal oh wow jeez running 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 white deck I haven't been down this way yet and it just it goes here. Oh, danger! What did I do? What's happening? Danger! Caution! What? Uh, question mark? I'm confused. Um, please no. Am I gonna get like attacked or something? What's going on? Private Jones. Danger. Whoa. Whoa. Every day is a good day to die. Oh. Oh. Now you're starting to piss me off. Oh. What did I do? I actually don't know what I did. 
Hey. Why am I being attacked by Private Jones? Is it because I went outside? Help. Why, uh, I'm so... I'm confused. That was... That ammo was unmarked. It was fine. Um, okay, so I guess I'm restarting. Question mark. Because... What? 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 I think I'm... Oh, no, I'm not stuck. Uh, okay. Well, time to redo the security terminals and talk to the one person up top and whatever else, because that door was not red. Door was not red. The ammo box was green. I don't know what I did wrong. The game. <laughs> like, by that logic, I literally didn't do anything wrong, but the game... <laughs> Uh, had them attack me, so... Question mark, question mark, question mark... I'm confused. Okay, this time... Please wait while the bridge extends. Okay. Who's that? Hold it right there. State your business in Ripley. I'm looking for Dr. Lee, Charisma, uh, anyone named. Pinkerton, kind uh, of. Uh, thanks for the help. Now I'll talk to this person, because I didn't see them before. Hello. Yes, sir. Angela Staley. What's it like living on a giant ship? Do the men on this ship give you much trouble? What's it like living on a giant ship? It's noisy, dark, and smelly. But we're safe here. No super mutants or raiders. And maybe Dr. Lee will find a way to get clean water for us. So what's the story with Dr. Lee? She's not very social. Stays in her lab in the stern. She's smart though. Real smart. Do the men on this ship give you much trouble? You mean like hitting on me? No. Most of them are polite. Even the ones like Diego that I'd want to flirt with seem to ignore me. So you and Diego are in love? Well, one of us is. Sometimes it seems like he doesn't even know I'm there. Unfortunately, you can't force a man's intentions. Especially if he is a priest with a thick skull. Well, I'm not giving up. I just know we're made for each other. Time for me to go. Later. Oh. Okay. Well, I can go down here again and take this stuff and restart. Go unlock the security terminals for like the 40 XP and talk to the one person about uh, not dying. Back this way. There's the stairway. Hey there, I'm Diego, the acolyte for St. Monica's. Who is this St. Monica? St. Monica saved her own son's soul from eternal damnation. She is now the patron saint of lost children for the faithful everywhere. You really should come to church on Sunday mornings. The sermon will be all about St. Monica. There's a church in Rivet City. Oh yes, Father Clifford conducts services every Sunday morning. You should come. 
If you're the Alkalite, if you're the Alkalite, who's the priest? Father Clifford, the sanctuary is in the ship's four on the upper deck. The good father holds services every Sunday morning. Uh, I hear Angela Staley has a crush on you. What are you talking about? I'm a man of the cloth. Well, I will be as soon as Father Clifford. Never mind. It doesn't matter what Angela thinks. Soon I will take vows of chastity. You're a fool to pass a, up a chance with I love with Angela. Okay, I believe you. I was just curious about it. Um, okay, I believe you. I was just curious about it. Uh, you're a fool to pass up a chance with I love with Angela. This might have a speech check, so I think I'm going to choose this one. Father Clifford says she is my trial, my temptation. I must choose between her and the church. I have chosen the church. Okay. Goodbye, Diego. God bless you. And back in I go. Hey. Uh, security terminals were up here. Don't go out the door even though it's unlocked and says green, not red. Uh... Nope. I think there was a toolbox. Sensor module. Up I go. Oh, this garbage can actually has a carton of cigarettes in it this time. Yep. Oh. Pre war money. Security terminal. Uh. Cases. Security log. Yep, 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 yep. I don't know if I wait for this because whatever, but there. Done. Now there's another one down here. I'm gonna wait, I'll talk to this person first. Oh, they're not up here. Okay, so then maybe at a different time. So then I'll do the other security terminal. Which again, this is allowed to be like touched for whatever reason, but not the not the door to outside the one place. Nears, doors, board, shave extra, swores, short. Doors. Board. Or yep, and this contains the same stuff, so I don't know if I would have to do this, but I'm doing it anyway to repeat. Save just in case for some reason I go somewhere that is, you know, I'm not allowed, but doesn't say I'm not allowed. Save over. Eh, keep that one. Let's make a new save. Actually, I'll go up here and wait however long. Oh, didn't want to do that. Wait till. I'll wait 10 hours, so like 7 a.m. Or almost 8 a.m. Uh, 
Oh, 8.43 a.m. then, rather. Never mind. Almost 9. There we go. Yes. Okay, do this again. There. Now I'll just save here. Oh, not over that one. Over this one. Did it. Yep, there we go. And then I can fast travel to right there. Yep. Hey. Now I'm back to where I was previously. Oh. Who was that? I don't think I saw them yet. That might have been the person I saved, actually. So I might have seen them already. Oh nope. Mei Wong. Stay away from me. What do you want? Are you one of them? What? I'm not going to hurt you. What are you so scared of? I suppose it doesn't matter if I tell you. I used to be a slave. I saw a slaver on this ship. His name is Sister. I'm afraid he's after me. Don't worry, I would never turn in a runaway slave. Really? Oh, thank you. Can you help me? I've been so worried with him around. I can hardly sleep at night. <laughs> I have 25 caps. Like, I actually don't know how many caps I have. <laughs> Here's 25 caps. Maybe you can buy yourself a gun. Thank you. I'll go to Flack and Shrapnels just before closing. I don't have anything to give you, but I think I can trust you with a secret. If you ever go up north, there is a secret slave hideout called Temple of the Union. You might find them useful. There you go. Capital Preservation Society. Midship main deck. Ooh. I'm allowed to go into these. But am I really, is the question. Am I gonna get shot on sight for taking things out of here? Door. Oh. Broken terminal, activate. Well, oh, metal spoon. I really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. Oh, oh, it's Mr. Lopez. I'm just taking things one day at a time. Okay. Science lab. For the most advanced scientific center in the capital wasteland, I find your. Look, Dr. Zimmer, we've been over this. We don't know about your runaway robot, and we don't care. This lab is dedicated to solving real problems. Yes, yes, yes. But Dr. Lee. Dr. Lee is trying to save lives, and your constant interruptions are interfering with those efforts. Now please, stand aside. I'm sure the good doctor's work with water purification is fascinating, but if you only knew what was at stake, the technology in that android... What's at stake? You won't tell me what's at stake. 
Vagaries and secrecy, a robot's a robot, Zimmer, no matter how shiny the paint job. Now, please. Ignorance and facetiousness. That's all you people are good for. Shiny paint job, indeed. You can't even imagine the Commonwealth's accomplishments. You know, if you're so smart, maybe you could help us, hmm? But no, that never even crossed your mind. Go peddle your selfishness somewhere else. Fine, but I'm not leaving. Not until I've spoken to Dr. Lee. I'll be here when she's ready to abandon her chemistry set and talk real science. Suit yourself. Good to see you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right then. You there. What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? I'm listening. This could be an opportunity of a lifetime for you. I've misplaced some very sensitive property, and you will help me find it. Missing property? What kind of property? in a way you'll understand. All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids, programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off. Sounds like slavery to me. You sure they don't wander off on purpose? Nonsense. This is a machine we're talking about. Can you enslave a generator or a water purifier? Of course not. The same principle applies. But let's get back to your mission. You are to find this missing android. I've tracked him to somewhere here in the capital wasteland. He must have done something drastic. Like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. Sorry, I've got better things to do, because I don't really know yet. You're as ignorant as all the other rats on this boat. When you realize I have the real cheese, you'll come crawling back. They always do. Hey. I'm gonna check the quest for this, just in case. The Replicated Man, that's the one I think. Continue to search for clues to the android's identity or tell Zimmer he's dead. Mm. I think I'm gonna tell Zimmer that he's dead. Ah, I trust you have we Quit wasting my time. Ah, I trust you have load so maybe I'm not able to um not just say that he's dead you there okay uh, what kind of property the Android is dead see here's an internal component there you go what let me see that this is a neuro servo Unique to the A321. I... And you say you got this from his corpse? I suppose there's no other way you could have obtained it. Well, damn it! I was afraid this would happen. Out here in this... this... wasteland. 
Well, here's 50 caps for your troubles. Try to buy yourself an education out here in this hell. Good day. Hey. There. Mm, no, I don't think you're him. Armitage. Lay a hand on Dr. Zimmer and I'll snap your neck like a chicken bone. Lay a hand on... That's close enough. Keep your hands where I can see them. Okay. Can I still talk to... Hey. Dr. Our Zimmer? Are done. I must ready myself Christy to Young. This place won't clean itself. That's my job. Look, I'm busy. Okay. Hello. Anna Holt. What do you need? Is Dr. Lee as smart as they say she is? Can I get a drink around here? Preferably something clean. Oh, somewhere clean. The Weatherly Hotel is a good choice. It's on the upper deck. Is Dr. Lee as smart as they say she is? She's certainly head and shoulders above most everyone else around here. Though, that's not saying much. I'm looking for my father. Have you seen him? Look, some of us are trying to get work done here. There have been enough disruptions recently. Anybody coming through here would have to talk to Dr. Lee. Why don't you go bother her about it? Okay. Time for me to go. Later. I do the repairs around here, so if you see something that needs fixing, let me know. This place could use a few more people willing to work. Everything is falling apart. I'm the only one willing to fix it. Janice, are those sun lamps I fixed the other day holding up? They're fine. However, I have two others that are making odd noises. Please check them out soon. Janice, have you overbalanced the chemical mix? They should be just fine. Try it again. Hey there. Dr. Lee. Look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. I... It's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. You're James's son, aren't you? What are you doing here? You know my father? Have you seen him? Well, yes, of course I do. Don't you know who I am? I suppose James never told you. Typical. I'm Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your father many years ago. Your mother as well, in fact. You'll have to forgive me, this has all been very stressful. What with your father suddenly showing up here after being gone for so long? You have to understand that I... We put all of that behind us. Project Purity, our work, all of it. We've moved on, even if your father hasn't. Can you tell me more about my parents? I suppose so. I worked with them for several years until... Until your mother died, and your father decided it was time to leave. What else do you want to know? What was my father like back then? James? He was very driven. Determined to change the world. Well, we all were back then, I suppose. He was focused on two things, really. Making Project Purity work, and your mother. When she died, I think... I think he gave up. I know he wanted to keep you safe. But I think part of what he did was run away. But it seems that he never really was able to get over the idea. I'm frankly shocked that he waited all this time and wants to try again. I never knew my mother. What can you tell me about her? Yes. Your mother was... Well, she was a good woman. A very dedicated scientist. Your father loved her very much. It was a shame that she died. She had been excited to meet you. Why did my mother die? What happened? Complications from childbirth. None of us were expecting it. We weren't as prepared as we could have been. You have to understand, we were struggling with scavenged, derelict equipment. We did everything we could. I understand. I'm sure you did everything you could. Yes. Well, um, I'm sorry it wasn't enough. Let's talk about something else. Okay. 
I'm trying to find my father. Have you seen him? You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. I left the vault to look for him. Did you? I was under the impression that's exactly the opposite of what he wanted for you. Well, you won't find him here. He's come and gone already. I'm sorry, could you please tell me where he's gone? Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and head it off to the old lab. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. Where is this old lab of yours? It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest of here. Please, don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there alone. Is there any way you can help me out? Look, I don't want to be harsh, but I have problems of my own. I don't have the resources to support James's foolish endeavors or your chasing after him. I'm sorry. Speech 100. Come on, isn't there anything you can do to help? I suppose I can spare a few stim packs. It's not much, but it might make things easier for you. Five stim packs added. I'd like to know a bit more about you. What? Well, I, I'm not sure what there is to tell. Your father and I, we worked together for a long time. I, I think we were really on to something. But then there were complications. The project was abandoned and your father disappeared. I returned here to Rivet City and established the lab you see before you now. Uh... Tell me about this project you worked on with my father. Project Purity, we called it. What do you want to know? What was the point of it? It was simple, really. Fresh, clean water for everyone. Such a simple idea and yet so impossible to me. The plan was to build a facility that could purify all the water in the tidal basin at once. No radiation, no muck, just clear water. It just turned out to be more difficult than we anticipated. Why didn't it work? We had the basic principles down, we understood most of the science behind it, but the radiation in the area is so pervasive. Small-scale tests were fine, but any time we tried to test the process on a larger scale, it was just... too much. Maybe if we'd had more time, or better equipment. Why did you stop working on it? What happened? You happened. It wasn't just you. We had more problems than we could handle already. Your birth is what finally pushed it over the edge. Your father decided that you were more important than everything we've been working for. And he left. He left all of us. Once he was gone, the Brotherhood decided we weren't worth their time. Without their protection, we had to abandon the purifier. Let's talk about something else. Okay. What is this lab? What are you doing here? This is the Rivet City Science Lab. It's taken many long years to put together, but we've done well for ourselves. Our work on portable fusion power and hydroponics are coming along quite nicely, if not quite according to schedule. What kind of place is this Rivet City? Rivet City is one of the few bastions of civilization left in the land. We're working to rebuild our society, to make the world livable again. I have to go now. Good luck finding your father. Janice Ke Keplinski. Garza, when you get a chance, remove the empty water tanks in the gardens and put in the fresh ones. Certainly, gents. Hey. Good to see you. What else do you want from me? Hey there. Hey. Okay, I talked to Anna Hole. I did not talk to Janice Keplinski yet. I'm Janice Keplinski, chief botanist. What do you need? I'm looking for my father. Have you seen him? 
I did see a man talking to Dr. Lee, but I really shouldn't be discussing it. She's already in a bad mood. I'd hate to make it worse. You should probably just talk to her about it. Farewell. So long. the uh the other one no oh, i guess so oh yeah does end the replicated man well that's that's unfortunate because i thought i could still at least find the uh the android or whatever but i guess not I guess I just have scientific pursuits to, uh, pursue. For now, at least. Hello. Christy Young. Look, I'm busy. Oh, yeah, that's right. Rivet City Market. Black and shrapnels. Hey, let me or a security officer know if you see anything out of the ordinary. Welcome to Flack and Shrapnel's best goddamn weapons anywhere. This here is Flack and Shrapnel's gun shop. Pretty catchy, huh? Take a look around. If you see anything you like, I'll be right over here. Are you afraid someone will use your own guns to rob you? Here, in Rivet City, I'm packing, and most of the rest of these guys are packing, not to mention security. Can I see what kinds of guns you have for sale? Need to do some killing, eh? Impacts items. What do I have currently? I have packs of cigarettes and some pre war money, sensor module, carton of cigarettes. Okay, and that's the stuff I can sell from there. Aid. Oh, that's right. I have Nuka Colas and Nuka Cola Quantum. You know, I'll keep one Stealth Boy, actually, for when I go back to the Robco uh, uh, place again, so I can maybe get past the robots without getting blown up. Oh. Weapons. Ooh. I can get a Fat Man. I think that's all I'm gonna get. Ammo. Mini nuke. Yeah. I don't have enough to get another one. I can get one mini nuke. Except there. Get, I'll give two rat axes. And right away, I can give four. Yeah. And. 
something packs. Yeah, I think I'll just spend the rest on stim packs. Yep. Thanks. I've got to run. If you need more ammo, this is where to get it. All right. Potomac Attire. Welcome to Potomac Attire. Welcome to Potomac Attire. I am Bannon, proprietor and city council member. I carry discriminating attire for discriminating customers. I'm here to do business with you. Straight to the point. I like that. Oh, stim packs are here too. Um, <laughs> biker goggles. I'll get the biker goggles. Why not? Red racer jumpsuit. Yeah, I'll get that. I have a Robco jumpsuit, but mine is damaged, so I'll get it. Why not? Uh, yeah. Another satisfied customer. So you're on the city council? Dr. Lee, Chief Harkness, and I are all on the council. We meet every Monday morning. I can be very influential, if you know what I mean. Far more than Seagrave Holmes. Whoever this Seagrave is, you think he is a threat to your influence? A threat? No, of course not. Well, maybe. He wants to replace me on the council. He's a shady character, I just can't prove it. Now, if someone were to find something incriminating in his room... Well, let's just say I would be very appreciative. It's been a pleasure, Mr. Bannon. Come back soon. Quick fix. Cindy Welcome Cantinelli. Fix. Or Cantelli. This is a quick fix. I mean, that's the name of our shop. Polly and mine, that is. My name is Cindy. Cindy Cantelli. What do you have for sale? We've got all kinds of chems. Chems. Oh, okay. Ant Queen Pheromones. You know what, what do I have in my aid? Yeah, I already sold the other stuff that I was going to, so... It's time for me to leave, Cindy. I'm sure you'll be back soon. Acquires key. Yeah, let me just take the key right now. Rivet City Supply. Seagrave, got anything new in that flea market of yours? <laughs> Nothing you'd be interested in. Only good stuff. Howdy, I'm Seagrave. Seagrave Holmes. I have a little of just about everything here. What have you got to sell? I've got a little bit of everything. Power fist. Uh, metal armor, radiation suit. Oh, red racer jumpsuit again, but I just bought one of those. Uh, I might just buy. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna spend the rest on stim packs, honestly. Sixty-two caps. Mm -hmm. 
sell the pulse grenade because I don't think I'm going to use it really. Except for to like try to get rid of it so it's not taking up space in my inventory. Except... Okay. Another satisfied customer. I should leave. See you later. I'm gonna see what the red racer outfit looks like. Items, apparel, red racer, biker, biker goggles. I heard that the city council is debating putting railings on the flight deck. Well, I hope they do something. Okay. Remember that child that fell off the deck last year? Might keep the biker goggles on. Everything looks okay here. You take your order? I'd like two carrots and water. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, okay. That goes to out here. Uh, don't think there's a door out here to go to. Once I get, if I get the lockpick skill of a hundred, then I could go. Uh. Ooh, wait a second. Is this like actually fully intact? I think this is an intact bike. It looked like it actually did do some suspension effect when I touched it originally. Squirrel stew. Oh, now it's upside down, but it still, still works. Gary Staley. Let me introduce myself. I am Gary Staley, gourmet chef and gourmand. I'll be preparing your meal. My specialty is Meyer Lurk cakes, although the iguana is very popular too. I'm hungry. It was our menu, sir. Okay. Stim pack. I can get one more. There we go. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Should let you get back to your customers, Gary. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. Okay. Did you hear about the fight in the muddy rudder last night? Yeah, I heard Jazz some tables and chairs. I'm sure she'll just drown some from the low. Save. Save right here. Over this one. Vera Weatherly. Charmed to meet you. I'm Vera Weatherly of the Weatherly Hotel. Speech 100. Have you heard any interesting gossip? Well, I really shouldn't tell you, but have you heard about Polly Cantelli? He's addicted to chems. His poor wife Cindy is at her wit's end. Speech 100. So, are there any fun rumors flying around Rivet City? You haven't heard? Angela has the hots for Diego. But since he's a priest, he's been putting her off. 
one of these days she's just going to jump his bones. How much for a room? Vera, your nephew Brian lost his folks and needs a place to live. Poor dear. I know what it's like to be alone. I'd love to take him in. Don't worry. I have the means to keep him fed and healthy, but most importantly, safe. I think Brian will love his new home. I'll send him along shortly. Oh, that's wonderful. If you ever wander back into Rivet City, why don't you check up on us? You're always welcome. Oh, there we go. Now I can go tell Brian that, uh, he could come to Rivet City. It's locked for a reason. Don't get any ideas. Trini. Hey, good looking. How come you haven't bought me a drink yet? Sure, here's five caps. <laughs> Go ahead and pick your poison. Now that's what I like in a man. Enough caps to buy a lady a drink. <laughs> What's it like living on a giant ship? It's noisy, dark, and smelly. But we're safe here. No super mutants or raiders. And maybe Dr. Lee will find a way to get clean water for us. Hate to do this, but I have to go. You're lost, sugar. Come and see me again sometime. Oh, enjoy your drink. I have six caps now. <laughs> hey. Save over this. Um... of medical goods and chemical assistance now. How may I help you? Tell me about your trade caravan. I provide food, drinks, and discreet chemicals to discerning customers around the wasteland. I help ease the suffering of my fellow man. For a prize. I don't have a home office exactly, but I organize much of my trade with Ernest Rowe in Canterbury Commons. I have to go now. Cheers, pal. Watch yourself out there. I have six caps in total. Theta. There, I'll actually just fast travel then to Brian Wilkes. Great itch. found me a place to live. I sure did, Brian. Vera said she'd take you in. You really found her? Oh, thank you so much. I can't believe everything you've done for me. Most people would have kept on walking when I ran up to them screaming like I did. I'll get my stuff together and move on out there right away. Come visit me sometime. Oh, level up. Ooh, okay. That's right. Higher science for the Robco thing. 75? Do that. Um, four more skill points. Put into lockpick. Four, I, or three rather. 
and uh, yeah, I'll put one more point into melee weapon. And if I don't find anything else in here that I prefer more, then I will just do Child at Heart. Fortune Finder, Gunslinger, Lead Belly. Uh, oh, there we go. At the first rank of this perk, animals simply won't attack. At the second rank, they will actually come to your aid in combat, but never against another animal. This perk affects the dog, Gao Gai, uh, Mole Rat, and Brahmin. Finesse. Uh, with the fast metabolism perk, you gain a 20% health bonus when using stim packs. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. And then maybe... I'll do fast metabolism and then I'll do... Life Giver, I think, next. When I level up. Stop sign. Okay. Save. You know what? Save here. I'll actually just save over this one. But, um... Ooh, uh, let me see where I'm at currently. With this. Yeah. Um... What else? What else to do? What else to do? Um, let me see where I'm at with quests and stuff, and... So I just have... I have blood ties. Locate the family. Deliver Lucy's message. And I don't have a marker for that, so... That might just happen later on. Data quests. Uh, for dad and Project Purity's control room. I think this might be the last thing. The last thing I do, and then. Ooh, okay. It's down here, so. Go to Rivet City. And then finish off with going to check Project Purity's uh, control room. And then I think that'll be I think that'll be the end for now. Ooh. my laser rifle ready. Another captive? Ow. I'm just gonna try to get away. No more centaur. Please and thank you. Oh. A 
Rar. Thirty-two. Ah. Hello, friend. I'll do it like, like Call of Duty Zombies. Nope. Thought it would go further than that. Uh, combat shotgun. There. Ouch. 32 caliber round. You know what? I do have the 32 pistol. I forgot about that. Oh, but its condition is, uh,. A little bit spicy, and uh, damage wise, I don't know. Snipe rifle is broken. I have this too. Two caliber rounds, and. Stimpak, 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 Stimpak. Get back here. You have discovered Jefferson Memorial. Alright. Reload. And a holster. Gift shop. Door to Jefferson Museum and gift shop. Oh, here we go. Pretty much. What happened? There was like an explosion it seemed like to the right, but... Oh, that's right, I do have... The... Assault Rifle as well. Damage 22... How much does the... Oh, I removed the... Chinese Assault Rifle from my inventory? Oops. Oh, I'll just use the regular one then. Um... Let's go this way. Oh! No more police. No more police. No more police. Oh, no more police. Double time. Ouch. And I'm out of ammo in that. Oh, and I'm out of ammo in that. Uh, oh, back to the combat shotgun. Board, sledgehammer, danger. Oh, oh. turret. I'll just let that be for now. Uh oh. Ouch. Stim pack, stim pack, stim pack, stim pack. Oh. 
No more, please. Ooh, frag grenade. Weapons. Frag grenade. There they are. Oh, there they are. Oh, look out. There we go. That's what I intended to do before, but... hit those all separately hollow tapes where are the hollow tapes though it said something about hollow tapes Here, I didn't even see these. Take Project Purity Personal Journal Entry 5. Project Purity Personal Journal Entry 8. And Project Purity Personal Journal Entry 10. Tenpenny's request. Tenpenny will allow the ghouls to move in if I can convince certain residents of the tower. Oh, well, I did that. Mei Wong is afraid of a man named Sister in Rivet City who she thinks is a slaver. Bannon's request. Bannon has asked me to search Seagrave Holmes' room to see if I can find anything incriminating about him. Then Bannon can stop him from taking over his council seat. Okay. Well, let me listen to these then. Even in Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. Soon after we arrived, my nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted areas, searching for, I don't know, whatever I could find. It was a vault facility after all. The place was built with some of the most advanced technology this country had ever developed. Those excursions never turned up anything particularly useful. So, one night after, half a bottle of scotch. I broke into the overseer's office. It was easy enough to hack his console, gain access to the restricted files. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda, spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. But there was one thing, one name that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I knew of Braun's work, of course. He was a celebrity in his day. Voltex sorcerer scientist, leaving his peers in awe of his technological wizardry. But it was in Vault 101 that night in the overseer's office. I first learned of Bruin's involvement in Voltex social preservation program and his work on something called Gek, the Garden of Eden creation kit. To be honest, the Gek sounded like pure fantasy, even for someone of Braun's capabilities. It was nothing short of a miracle. A terraforming module capable of producing life from complete lifelessness. But not only was this thing a reality, it was actually distributed to several vaults to be used after an atomic war. Vault 101 was, sadly, not on that list. I did some digging and discovered Braun's name on the reservation list for a vault 112. I'm no slouch, but this man, he could have easily succeeded where I failed. Does his collected knowledge remain within the halls of Vault 112? Journals, holotapes, computer records, maybe even experiments. If I could gain access to just a fraction of Braun's genius, Project Purity would become a reality. Okay, and now... Project Purity Personal Journal Entry 10. I'm off to 
to Vault 112 to search for anything of Braun's that might help me get this purifier up and running. All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills, and it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close. But that's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if Braun has the missing puzzle piece. Okay. Activate auxiliary filtration input. This panel allows for the input of additional filtration chemicals. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna get out of this building and I'll probably be done after that. Uh, empty. Empty. Please. Empty. <laughs> Where's this saying to go currently? Why this way? Ouch. Items. Stimpack, Stimpack. No more of that, please. And the bathroom. No. Oh. oh. I could have disabled it. I mean, I guess I still can, but... Because then I'll get XP for doing it, but... Committee. Warning, no targeting data. Please exercise caution. System information. Okay. Deactivate turret system. Deactivated the turret system. This just goes out, so. I'll just go over here, get a nice, uh, take a nice look at the, uh, the, the whatever this is here. Save game. Oh. <laughs> that auto save. Okay. Save over the stop sign. And reload. But yeah, um. I think that's gonna be it for now. Get the, uh. The stream is over up. Stream credits. Thanks for watching. And just, oh, there we go. I got the raids and stuff. So now I know that functions, I guess, for, for that. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. Thanks for the raid from Way Too Scared, and uh, I hope you hope you enjoyed the uh, <laughs> the Iron Lung and uh, a Wolf's Autumn, I think it was. But yeah, oh, and some Fallout Three, because. I played those for, I think, I think it was like two hours and a half, and so I figured I would just, you know, continue with something else, considering I haven't finished this game yet, so, anyway, uh, 
like I said, hope you enjoyed. Uh, I, I don't know when I'll be streaming again. It might be... I would try to do it sometime soon, but don't know what's going on yet, so... Anyway, uh, I think that'll be it. See ya!